What's up, family? My name is Trill, and we have a new warning message coming from the IRS. They are telling Americans, do not file your 2022 tax returns as of yet, saying that they are still unclear how they want to handle certain things like those stimulus checks that you receive. Again, the IRS wants you to hold off just a little while longer. They are trying to figure it all out. And then we also have some breaking news out of Canada in which another UFO has been spotted. The U.S. has responded ordinarily fashion. But anyways, I've got the details to share with you today. But before we get started, you already know what to do. Make sure that you're subscribed to the channel as well as hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Now let's go ahead and start with the video. Starting off, we do have an update on the earthquake that happened in uh, Turkey as well as Syria. Yes, guys, the death toll now is reaching 30,000 people. Yes, guys, this is definitely some tragic news that is pretty much going on this entire week of last week, rather. Uh, but anyways, I just wanted to give you a quick update that the death toll is approaching 30,000, which I'm sure we'll see that sometime today. And they are saying that over 100 detained as government targets building contractors. Yes, guys, the Turkish government detained more than 100 building contractors and others who may be responsible for the collapsed buildings and deaths this week. Yes, guys, as the death toll continued to hit the region on Monday, uh, surpassing 28,000 just a couple of days ago, and here we are reaching 30,000, if not more, by the time you watch this video. But anyway, Turkish Justice Ministry established the Earthquake Crimes Investigation Unit, uh, according to the state-run news agency, resulting in more than 100 being detained this week for having failed to meet construction codes. This could be a a huge factor in regards to why these certain buildings have been collapsing. Now, Turkey's health ministry establishes the death toll from the 7.8 magnitude earthquake that reached 24,000 people just this past Saturday, while the death toll in the government-controlled regions in northern Syria remains at around 1,347, with 2,295 others being injured, according to Syria's health ministry, though the office has not updated its estimates since February the 9th. Now, again, the U.S. military began deploying forces to assist with the relief efforts uh, this past Friday. So that is some good news that we are lending a hand uh, during these uh, particular times that Turkey and Syria is going through. But uh, anyways, the biggest question is, how long will these numbers continue to keep going up, guys? I told you before, we need to continue to pray for all of them out there. And if you can, donate what you can, guys. $1, $2, $5, $10. It doesn't matter. Whatever you can, because we have around 390 million people in this country. And if we could just get all of them to just donate $1... That can make a huge difference, guys. But anyways, guys, I am just a random YouTuber and uh, I don't have that much reach. But anyways, guys, if you could, uh, I definitely would want to encourage you to do that. And moving on, guys, we do have an IRS warning message. And this is one of the first of its kinds. But the IRS is telling millions of Americans that in more than 20 states to hold off on filing your taxes. The IRS is asking millions of taxpayers, more than 20 states, including California, Colorado, and Florida, who received tax rebates last year to just go ahead and hold off for now on filing your tax return. Now, the reason is that the agency said that it is still seeking some clarification whether those tax rebates that Americans received and those special refunds are actually considered to be taxable income. We expect to provide additional clarity for as many states and taxpayers as possible sometime this coming week, according to the IRS. Now, I will remind you that previously, when they were giving out these stimulus checks, they told us that these would not be taxable income. So I don't know what the big question is as of now, but apparently there is still some clarification going on with the heads of the IRS, and I'm assuming with the government agencies, and they are still trying to figure it all out. So they don't want to have to go ahead and correct your tax return. They would just rather you not doing them as of now. And they put out this message on Friday that the IRS provided guidance to those taxpayers for most of the part, uh, those rebates aren't taxable. Now, during the review, the IRS determined that it will not challenge the taxability of payments related to general welfare and disaster relief, according to the tax agency. About 16 million California residents receive the middle class tax refund, checks of $350 per individual taxpayer last year, part of the relief package designed by the state to help residents 
cope with the soaring inflation at the time when the state had a budget surplus. But anyways, guys, like I said, more than 20 states authorized tax rebates last year as their coffers were buyed by strong economic growth and federal pandemic aid. The IRS on Friday said that taxpayers in the following states won't need to report the rebates as income. Again, these are the 20 states right here, guys, and I'll just read them real quick to you just in case you're listening and not watching me. But anyways, Alaska, California, Colorado, Connecticut, Delaware, Florida, Hawaii, Idaho, Illinois, Indiana, Maine, New Jersey, Jersey, New York, New Mexico, Oregon, Pennsylvania, and Rhode Island. Again, the IRS added that many people in the following states won't have to report their rebate checks as income if they meet some qualifications. For instance, this is the case if the rebate is a refund of state taxes paid and the taxpayer claimed the standard deduction or itemized deductions but did not receive a tax benefit, according to the IRS. And these particular states are Georgia, Massachusetts, South Carolina, and Virginia. And then they also also have some other topics on here guys where they're talking about the delay in actually filing your tax return uh, talking about it right here that those one-time windfalls through a rent into tax season for millions of Americans many of whom count on getting timely tax refunds to pay down their debt make a purchase or get on top of some late bills last year the average tax refund for the 2021 tax year was almost around three thousand and two hundred dollars which is a 14 percent jump from the prior year according to some IRS data. But this uncertainty is unfair to taxpayers, wrote uh, Jared Walsack, vice president of state projects at the Tax Foundation Office. Tax experts have long known that the taxability of state rebate payments would be an issue once tax season kits around. And here we are. They are finally at that particular reasons. But the IRS remains silent until February the 3rd. Could this be because they just don't have enough funding right now because the United States wants to fund them with $87 billion just to get their foot on the right track? Uh, we don't know, guys, but this is what we are dealing with right now, and this is affecting millions of Americans. In fact, 16 million Americans in these 20 different states. Now, again, they we are saying that if you go ahead and file an amendment, you could actually be penalized, even though they are telling you to go ahead and amend it right now because... They're not prepared to, they don't know what to do with it, and they just still trying to figure it out. So, but instead, if you file an amendment, they are trying to penalize you guys. And yes, we are talking about the IRS, one of the greatest government agencies in America. <laughs> but anyways, guys, do not file an amendment because you will definitely receive a penalty on your tax return. So uh, anyways, guys, this is just the information that we have right now. It also says that IRS says California, which most state tax rebates aren't considered taxable income. So that is some good news for those of you that live in the state of California. Uh, guys, so anyways, like I said, the IRS is pretty stuck right now. They're really trying to figure out the right direction to go. I don't necessarily know who they are waiting for, but they are pretty much trying to figure out this information so that they can go ahead and allow those tax returns to get those tax returns flowing back in again. So anyways, guys, if you haven't filed yet, hold off just about a week or so. I'm sure they'll have an answer for you. And if you have already filed, you'll just have to wait for a new direction from the IRS. Now, moving on, guys, we did see some breaking news over the weekend in which uh, just on Friday, we just saw the United States shot down an unidentified object that was flying near the Alaska coast, which was flying at around 40,000 feet in the air, which was pretty much in the same area as commercial airlines. So it was causing a little bit of threats to the commercial side of our airplanes and uh, the United States ended up shooting that down and here we are on Sunday the United States military ended up shooting down another unidentified object this time it was over the Canadians territory yes guys we heard from the president of Canada in which he pretty much saw the unidentified object and within less than an hour he did order for this object to be shot down he also contacted the United States military as well so they can work together considering that this particular unidentified 
unidentified object was in between the borders of both countries. And ultimately, guys, the United States military was the ones that ended up shooting down this particular object over Canada's Yukon territory. Yes, it says that the Canadian Prime Minister, Justin Trudeau, uh, said he ordered the takedown of the unidentified object flying over Canada's territory on Saturday. The object was shot down by the U.S. military fighter jet from the U.S. and Canada's North American Aerospace Defense Command. The President of Canada said that, look, I spoke with President Biden this afternoon. Canadian forces will now recover and analyze the wreckage of the unidentified object. Thank you, NORAD, for keeping the watch over North America. Now, the two leaders approved the takedown of the object out of an abundance of caution and at the recommendation of their military. According to the White House, since NORAD detected the object over Alaska on Friday evening, North American officials had closely monitored it as it crossed into Canadian airspace on Saturday. Pentagon Press Secretary Bridge General Pat Ryder said in a statement following the call with between President Biden and Trudeau, Biden authorized the F-22 to shoot down the object with a missile in Canadian territory. So again, Canadian Defense Ministry Anita Anad said that the downed object was cylindrical in shape and flying at about 40,000 feet. She said it was down in central Yukon about 100 miles from the U.S.-Canada border. So anyways, guys, what is going on right now? All of a sudden, did the aliens end up seeing the big white balloon and they got jealous because that white balloon was able to float all around the United States for several days? Could that be the reason why we have pretty much seen two unidentified objects over the past, what, 48? hours guys we have some serious problems on our hands and of course the government is not telling us anything but yes right now we did receive a little bit of an update in regards to that ufo that was shot down on friday they are still recovering some of the debris from the wreckage from that potential object that they ended up shooting down but the only thing that they were telling us right now was the object was the size of a small compact car so again guys that's all we have right now we are still waiting on there are a lot of questions from news reporters and uh, the american people we still want to know exactly what was going on what was that particular object and what have you recovered from the debris of the wreckage and tell us something guys we want the government to tell us something and so far the government is keeping everything on a hush. So hopefully, guys, we'll get lucky later on this week and we'll hear more information about this wreckage of both of these unidentified objects. And hopefully we don't see any more, at least for the rest of the week, guys. Can you give us that? Again, we have the Super Bowl going on today. I definitely want to be relaxing today and being able to watch it. So hopefully we don't have any UFOs flying over the Arizona area where the Super Bowl is going to be held at. But anyways, guys, we do have an update in regards to the uh, Chinese spy balloon. Uh, the U.S. did recover the debris from that and they were able to determine that six Chinese entities were actually linked to the balloon program and uh, the United States has taken action. They have now blacklisted these particular six Chinese entities from doing any type of business with the United States. The U.S. has blacklisted six entities in China that it says that are linked to the aerospace programs including balloons that are used by the military for for intelligence. The move which comes after the U.S. last week down the Chinese balloon that is suspected of being used for surveillance. Now the six entities were targeted for their support to China's military modernization efforts, specifically the People's Liberation Army or better known as the PLA aerospace programs including airships and balloons according to the Department of Commerce's Bureau of Industry and Security. So anyways guys, five of the companies and one Research Institute are now restricted from obtaining U.S. items and technologies without government authorization. So anyways, guys, like I said, they haven't given us much information about the balloon, but they did go ahead and put this information out there that they did recognize six particular entities and they have banned them, blacklisted them from doing or buying any type of material directly from the United States. Again, 
that's all we have gotten from this information. So anyways, guys, hey, I hope all this information in this video was helpful to you today. Well, anyways, guys, hey, that's all I have for you today. But please don't forget about those links down below because there are some great ways for you to be able to support this channel as well as opportunities for you to receive things like a 12 free stocks or even receiving the Amazon Prime membership for 30 days for free. But anyways, all of those links will be down below just in case you are interested. But anyways, hey, if you enjoyed today's content, content and you want to see more, go ahead, subscribe to the channel. It's totally free. And if you like today's video, then go ahead and hit the like button for us. It really helps out this channel as well as it tells YouTube to share this video with others. But anyways, hey, I appreciate you guys stopping by and watching and I hope to see you on the next video. Peace.